taking it from the cement slab to the actual skating surface. There's at least 125 different layers of water that are applied. When you install an ice surface, you need 200 feet of hose. You have an agricultural boom, will be eight to 12 feet. Squeegees, you typically have a team of ice makers, three to six, that move the hose around the surface, and keep it out from underneath your feet. So the paint, obviously a, a cement floor is gonna be great. So when you turn on your competition lighting, it hits that surface and gets sucked up if it's gray. If you have a white surface, it reflects more, it's brighter. It typically takes on a standard NHL size sheet, which is 200 feet by 85 feet wide. It takes just over 10,000 gallons of water to create an inch of ice. We like our figure skating ice to be right around an inch and a half over the paint. So, you know, with that, we'll put down roughly 14 to 15,000 gallons of water. Um, and we do that in increments of 200 to 300 gallons at a time. So it's a, it's a very lengthy process. You'll see a build take four or five days in order to build it as, as much of a dense surface as you can. Figure skaters like a, a warmer ice than ice hockey players. Hockey, you typically see 20 to 22 degrees, whereas figure skating, they like a surface temperature between 22 and 24 degrees. For a colder surface, there's going to be less friction. So when you have a hockey puck moving across the colder surface, it's, it's going to glide a little bit easier. Whereas for figure skating, they want to have a little bit more bite so that they can launch into their jumps and edge a little bit differently and do a little bit more with a warmer surface than you can with a cold surface. You know, if, if the ice surface isn't built correctly, you know, you'd hate to see an athlete end their career and their dreams because they skated through something that broke an ankle or tore up a knee. And so, you know, it's important to have certain standards and certain procedures that everyone follows so that you can hopefully assure the right result. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.